you were a kid in the early 50s and 60s, you were probably up early Saturday morning watching westerns and playing with a playset. Maybe this one. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave, and we are about to review the Mark's Alamo playset. Now, this is a reissue playset. This is not the original from the 1950s or 60s. This playset came out as early as 1955, I believe. It was in the uh, Sears catalog, uh, and it went through several changes over the years from Mark's, and we're going to review some of that for you. However, this one here, well, this is the one I had. This is a Mark's 160th anniversary playset, it says. So we're going to look at this and look at the figures that came with it. So stick around. If you would like to see an in-depth review on all the Mark's playsets from the Alamo series, definitely check into this. This is a Tomic Home video. This is from Rusty Kern and his wife. This is volume number 12. And it talks all about all the Alamo sets from the beginning to the end. So you definitely want to check that out and also subscribe to Playset Magazine if you're not already a subscriber. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and uh, show you the series of figures that came with this over the years. So let's go ahead and get started. Now again, as I begin this review, keep in mind that Marks changed their sets year after year, just like they did with the uh, Fort Apache. So not every year was the same. Some year you got one cannon or five cannons or you know different colored figures uh, sometimes they were 45 millimeters sometimes they were the larger 132nd scale so um, take that with a grain of salt when you're looking at this review that i'm giving you i'm just giving you the basics on what normally came with an alamo playset we're starting off with the gates now earlier on they came out with these tin gates there were two different ones one said the official disney uh, Walt Disney version which had a logo at the top later on they took that Disney logo off and just had the Davy Crockett Alamo and then later on they went to a plastic fort piece which actually came with four uh, ladders that were the same color but the tin fort itself the walls remained the same and again this was not accurate whatsoever to the actual Alamo um, all they had was the church building and approximately eight walls with the gate um, so no palisades no gun ramps no barracks but it was still fun for the kids i'm sure and uh, they didn't mind that it was just a rectangle fort with a church you used your imagination the only building created for the alamo play sets from marx was this tin litho church building not historically correct which also had this piece on top which could be removed but again not to scale and not historically correct for the Alamo when it came to the flat walled sections there were two types one without the firing stands which were just plain but decorated on both sides of the tin litho and the ones with the pegs with the holes in them were for the firing ramps now, this second piece of tin would be attached via the four pegs. However, every once in a while, Marks would not punch holes in the walls, therefore leaving these hanging table and barrel and cannonballs free-floating on the walls. Normally, I said there was eight walled sections. I've doubled mine to make my fort larger. Now these Alamo forts did come with accessories. They rotated them throughout the years. You either got the Fort Apache one or a Western one. Uh, some did come with uh, cactus and trees. So depending upon what fort you had and what year, uh, depends on what accessory set you had. Now most of the Marks forts came with either one two three up to five i believe of these cannons now the older cannons would have been the shell firing cannons but later on they converted them to just the plastic canning non-shell firing 
and they all came with some type of ladder. Uh, some sets had two, I've seen up to six. When you did get this gate here, however, you would get two in the brown color and then you would get four in this white gate color. So the first series of Mark's Mexican figures in the 132nd scale, this would have been a mold shot, I believe, according to Rusty Kern. It was either 10 or 11 figures. I'm not sure if there were three of these or not, but it would be the uh, charging, I guess you could say, with the rifle. You got three marching with rifle. There were two standing firing, one Mexican clubbing with his rifle. This one is known as the climbing the ladder or scaling the wall. And this would have been a cavalry figure. So those were the mold shot of either, like I said, 10 or 11 figures. Now later sets of the Alamo Fort came with the Zorro figure mold. And these were the marching figure. I believe you had two of those. The running figure. Standing with rifle. Standing with pistol. Shooting rifle. Sword overhead. Sword out front. You got three cavalry figures. One with a guide on and two with swords. And then this guy, I believe, was for the cannon. So I want to say it was a set of 12. I could be wrong. It may be 10. I don't know, but maybe you did only get one of these and one of these. But a mold similar to this would have been included in some of the later Mark's uh, Alamo sets. These originally came with the Zorro set. And again, these were round hats, not Shaco hats. So... If you're trying to put a set together, this is probably what you're looking for. Now when it came to the defenders of the Alamo, it all depended on what Alamo set you had. Mine, being a reissue set, came with the Boonesboro Frontiersmen, which were mostly coonskin cap figures. You have the individual being shot. Normally he has a arrow in his shoulder. This guy with the tomahawk and knife. This gentleman here swinging the rifle, which was always considered Daniel Boone, or in our case, Davy Crockett. Shooting a pistol with a knife. Waving with the musket in his hand. On guard. Running, and this is the only individual with not a coonskin cap. Standing firing. And of course, the turkey man. So again, some uh, sets from the earlier days came with 45 millimeter uh, 7th Cavalry figures. Some forts uh, came with the later 54 millimeter Cavalry or the Frontiersmen. And uh, earlier sets I heard even came with some uh, Indians as opposed to Mexicans. So depending upon what fort you had, all depended on what uh, either pioneers, frontiersmen. In this case, like I said, mine's a reissue one, so I have the Daniel Boone figures. Now that is a fort. Once again, this is double the amount of walls. This is 16 walls, flat walls, with the chapel building in back. And I went with the later issue plastic gate.
And here's just an overview recap for you. Just in case you were wondering, there were 226 foot soldiers, Mexican, and 32 mounted Mexican versus 67 Texans, or in this case, pioneers, frontiersmen. These are all marks, plastic figures, reissues. You can find these at various retailers like Classic Toy Soldier. Uh, these are one, all 132nd scale. And hopefully you enjoyed the photo story and the extra large Alamo set, which I think look pretty good with all these figures. And once again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching my channel. And as always, keep on collecting.